Welcome back to our channel. We added a tankless shower to our camper. This is our Camp Lux 28,000 BTU water shower. As you can see, I've actually mounted it on the side of our shower. Let me come up here. Sorry, it's nighttime. There's a screw here that initial shower head set into, so I didn't have to drill an extra hole there. Then I come down here and put one down here. The shower head, the red hose, and this all comes together along with your gas. This goes to a 20 pound bottle. I'm gonna show you the modifications I did to it. And this line here, as you can see, I just took it out here, looped it up, and ran in here. I took out the original shower head and it screws right into the bottom. Down here, what we did, let me pick this up so I can see it. I bought the female fitting screw on, on a ball valve and this metal piece here, metal extension here. This initially had was set up for a 20 pound bottle. I just removed that fitting and added the rest here. And I also got a four inch cap. So I'm gonna put a command strip there just to hold it. That cap down there will keep it from moving around during transport. So to use this, We'll flip the valve up, turn our cold water on. This thing needs 3 PSI of water pressure to turn on. It has an on off switch. So what I'm going to do is we're going to turn the shower on. You'll see the flames burning inside there. Once you turn the flow off, the flame goes out. You turn it on. So, it takes about three seconds for you to get hot water. This is your, your gas adjustment. So, you can see we got it turned way down. This is comfortable for us. You can turn it all the way up. And it's pretty much too hot to even be, to be taking a shower with. Then you got your water pressure. On the shower head, it has three different settings. This would be the rain. All the way up would be the stream, and then the middle is a combination. It does have some heat coming out here, but we never had any issue with this melting. I know people's gonna say something about oh you're mounting this inside your shower, you're gonna you're gonna die or whatever. Right up there is our exhaust fan, we always have that on anyways when we take a shower. So any carbon monoxide that's going to come out of here is going to go right up there. But that's how simple it is to set it up. We really enjoy it. Oh, let me show you this too. One other thing, we put a zip tie right here. So if any water does come running down, it's going to hit right here and run right back in the tub. It doesn't come out here and flood the outside. It is a solid mount. I mean, we'll travel with this and everything. If somebody has concerns about installing this in their bathroom because it is a heating system, the way I look at it, this produces the same amount of carbon dioxide as your stove or your oven and you don't think twice about firing that up and cooking a meal on it. This is, you got your four inches at the bottom of your door, that's pulling fresh air in, your fan's pulling your fresh air through, any fumes is going to get pulled right out by your fan too. I really believe this is just as safe as getting in your oven inside your camper. So, but if you want hot water continuous, this is the way to go. We bought this on Amazon. We gave 130 bucks for it with all the fittings and everything converted over to a one pound bottle. We, we had right at another $20 in that. So it's a pretty cheap little setup. If we take a five minute shower, it figures out to right around seven cents a shower. So 
to me it's well worth having this in here instead of going to the bot house some of the advantages of having an instant water heater versus your onboard RV water heater is when you turn your propane on your burner is going to run about 20 minutes before it turns off that's a lot of propane being burnt so it's actually cheaper to have one of these set up on a one pound bottle I don't have the room in my bathroom to install a 20 pound bottle I didn't want to drill holes in my walls to tap into my outside gas line so to me the best option was to put our little one pound bottles we use that on our grills and everything else so I have plenty of them laying around hope you guys found our little setup informative maybe I've convinced you guys to do this too if you could give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next time bye